Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 4. Coming at you today with my grocery shopping and you guys wanna come with me. Me, I'm thinking, I think that I wanna go to Target. Just an excuse to go. Sometimes I venture into Publix and Detweilers but I don't really know my way around them yet and I really don't wanna spend too much time grocery shopping today. I kinda wanna get in and get out type of vibe but y'all know how the Target goes. I am going to head there now so I'll meet you guys at the Target. Okay, so I just got to Target and the fun part about Florida, there's not a non-busy time of the day. So I got out a little bit later than I wanted to today, so it's like 11.39 and it's like packed. So <laughs> I don't like playing bumper carts. I really, I don't, I don't like it and I'm taking you guys with me and this is like one of my first times public vlogging, so a little nervy. Yeah, let's get inside. I'm home from the grocery store and I just want to touch on some of my key staple items. First things first is my coffee. I drink Stoke and I get the unsweetened version because I do go ahead and add my stevia in. I do like the unsweetened, the teal kind. This is just the best kind of cold brew that there is, in my opinion. And I like this, how this one tastes. Not a bit. Really? So Califia is my go-to um, coconut almond milk. I like coconut almond blends because I feel like it's thinner consistency, whereas if you just get almond milk, it's too thick. And then I just personally don't like full-blown coconut milk. It's a little bit too coconutty for me, if that makes sense. So I like this one. This one's 45 calories per serving. One of my go-tos. Target always has it. Egg whites, a must. I prefer organic, I don't know if these are organic. Market Pantry is Target's brand, so brown rice, I always get the one minute brown rice. Cheap, it's like $1.19. Banza is the brand of noodles that I get because they're made from chickpeas, and I like how they taste. Like, you can't really tell it, like that they're made of chickpeas. I mean, they taste pretty good to me, so boom. I just got some organic Simply Balanced tomato basil pasta sauce, I really like that. Now I need you guys' help if you guys have a ref preference on granola. So I used to get this granola that had white chocolate little bars in it and I'm, I can't remember who it was from, but it's a popular brand. I'll have to search it and put it on the screen. It was my go-to. I cannot find it here in Florida for the life of me. So I need a new go-to granola. So I'm, I haven't gotten this one before. It's the Good and Gather Organic Vanilla Bean Granola. I like to make overnight oats. It's kind of an easy go-to meal too that I really like. So overnight oats is my jam. Anything that says organic really gets me on the tag. This is kind of 
This is just something that I like. It's a gluten-free dark chocolate chip. It's the Nature's Path Organic Waffles. Look, it's, it can't be the healthiest, but I mean, it can't be the worst. I just plug that into my fitness pal some days if I want like a brunch or a little sugary treat, this is what I go to. So, and then with that, I just get organic maple syrup. Along with the granola, I need a good protein bar. I have a couple that I'm gonna try. They're, they're vegan and all natural. So I'm gonna give those a try, but for now I just picked up my go-to kind. It's a limited edition, what is this? Caramel almond pumpkin spice. These are so fire. I just picked these up for now until I get my other ones ordered because I have to order those offline. So those, fruit is a staple for me, a strawberry and a blueberry and a banana are all that I get all of the time. Bananas for my smoothie, blueberries and strawberries I put in my morning oatmeal or overnight oats. Since I've honestly moved to Florida, corn on the cob. I'm obsessed. I like to eat salmon and corn on the cob. That's like, this is just so good. I don't know my meals have been consistent of lately is corn on the cob salmon or salmon and corn on the cob and like green beans. Then I have a sweet tooth, always had a sweet tooth. so. But I really like candy. Candy is like my weakness. So something that's really helped me, like, I don't have cravings too much, but I feel like my cravings come back. Girls, you know, when it's that time of the month for me, I really crave sweets, candy. So something that's really helped me is um, these Smart Sweets. I first saw these on Whitney Simmons. She had talked about them briefly. Three grams of sugar. I, this is my favorite one. So, I can't remember where was that? It's three grams of sugar, um, 80 calories. I, Swedish fish is like, I love them. <laughs> I know that might be weird, but Swedish fish is like my candy. And then like the sugar punch straws, like the little bite sized ones are my jam too. So that really helps me. I picked up four. <laughs> to try to have some control. I just really love the Simply Balanced Atlantic Salmon. It's my go-to salmon, so. And, oh, I almost forgot my avocados. I get three. You need to do the avocado test, which I put in the grocery haul on the screen. Get them how I'll eat them. And a fun fact that I learned is that I like things cold. I like ice cubes, I like my drinks to be cold. I like everything to be cold. So I put my avocados in the refrigerator, but what I, my mom taught me is that they won't continue to ripen if you put them in the fridge. So if it's ready to go, like I have a, a softer one here that's ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the fridge, but the other two I get a little bit more hard because they need more time to ripen and I don't like, it takes me like a day or two to go through avocado and I feel like sometimes they ripen pretty quickly. So I'll put the one that's ready to go in the fridge and then I'll leave the other two on my counter and then I kind of just rotate them out and that's how I do it. So it works for me, but I'm not an avocado professional. So if you guys have any tips at all, let me know. I also showed the oatmeal in the video and I get the cinnamon, the cinnamon roll version. It's 100 calories and, and I like to put the coconut milk in there and the fruit and I drizzle honey on top. And that's like a very easy five minute meal that I can make. I don't really snack often anymore. So the protein bars is a good snack that holds me over sometimes or another one that I like. It's the Ritz Fresh Stacks Whole Wheat um, version. And then I like to just eat them with a little Jif to go, the all natural. Another snack that I really like to eat is a caramel rice cakes. I'll have two of them with some almond butter on top. Now, my favorite flavor of almond butter is cinnamon, but again, I can't find it here in Florida. They, I, they only have like vanilla or something else, hazelnut. If you guys have tried hazelnut, let me know, but I can't find my cinnamon one here either unless they're like in the individual packets and that racks up because almond butter is a pricey, pricey little guy. So those are like my top snacks that I eat that help me that I've been doing since I lost my first 20 pounds in two months and I continue it on to this day. So these are like my go-tos. Let me know if you have any other questions further and yeah. Well, I think that concludes my grocery store haul. So thanks so much for tuning in guys. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe down below to my channel. I would love to have you join me. Hit the like button below to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to turn on my post notifications by hitting that bell icon, which is next to the subscribe button below. That way you'll be notified and you won't miss another day with Jay with me. Ever. especially since I have an upload every day for the next 25 days coming your way. So thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys tomorrow.